A ticket to the Final Four is up for grabs in tonight's Elite Eight matchup between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Red Raiders should be in for what looks like an insurmountable battle, Dick. What are the keys for them to get a victory tonight? Well, there's a few things that they absolutely have to do. Number one, don't give up any easy uncontested shots from behind New York. Find those shooters. Secondly, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. And finally, grab the boards, baby. Make it a habit. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. And boy, they just jump out of the gate with a score early. They're sending the message, we're focused, baby. Looking for a good shot from the top of the circle. Hensley from downtown. Both teams are looking to get something going here. And a momentary look from three-point land. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They look to get it to the inside. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. it in. The power forward receives the pass. For the bucket. And he scores it off the glass. From way outside, he nails the bucket. to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Turnaround jumper. The Aggies have got to continue to get him the ball. That is on fire. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post play. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The center handles the pass. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He bombs from outside. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Powers handles the feed, steals the ball. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crap. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. On the outside, trying to feed inside for two. Perfectly executed. We'll get a better look on the replay. Shooter spotting up on a three. Hensley receives the ball. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing the ball.
Trying to go inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. the pass in the paint. Bland is animated and ready to go. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Gave it up. Goes up for two. And off the mark. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Vic Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. What a great strip. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice high post screen. Both teams looking to get things going here. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. And they get the turnover. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Set that screen away. Pump fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. The Red Raiders have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. He attempts the trifecta. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every play. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And it's stolen away. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Whistle blown. That's a backcourt infraction. You can't make those kind of mistakes in games like these, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. That's a 10-0 run. here after the timeout. Working it around the perimeter. He launches a three. Off the rim and no good. On the top of the key. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He shoots from the top of the key. 
Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. And now they'll bring it up. Good job defensively. For two. Can't get the shot to go. Number 50 fakes the shot. Here's a double team. Kicks it out. Tan on the shot clock. From left of the circle, he gets the bucket. Perfectly executed. Entry pass in the paint. He uses the shot fake. Fakes the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. High post flashes for the ball handler. Steele. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Got it. The Red Raiders seemingly have a solid number of seniors in their lineup. Here. Hey, Brad, you know I love seniors. By the time they're in their fourth year of eligibility, they're a solid and reliable basketball player. They work the perimeter. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Up and inside. Gave it up. Stolen away. A little lane. Stayed a little wider than 12 seconds. 12 foot lane. That's why we have instant replay cameras. Silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Gets his first. Misses the second shot. He takes the rebound. Both teams looking to get things going here. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Texas Tech have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Taken away. Thinks about the shot. Executes the baby hook. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. In the paint. Double team now, bad angle. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level.
This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Foul shot, no good. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chance, and he lost, baby. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. for a good shot from right in the circle off the rim and no good look at that try there that's more like my stuff wow little Barishnikov right there you always were a dancer <laughs> offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose the outside had a guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball from right in the circle there's a bad pass right to the defender They're working around the perimeter he fouled him you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Got a man in high post. He wants a three. He's money with a shot. it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. They come with a double team to stop it. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the post up high. He'll visit the charity strike. Makes his first. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon, MBN. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Gonna move it around the perimeter. High post screen. So effective that screen. Here's one more look at it. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The lane. Put 
puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. High post screen. Puts it up, looking for contact. He gets the bucket to fall. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's a double team waiting there. Trying to draw some contact. From the top of the key, way off target. And an Momentary look from three-point land. The senior leader drops it in for the score and gets the foul. He's playing the way they taught him how to play, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. He hits it. Work it around the arc. Jumps in. And he scores despite the hack. Picks off the lazy pass. They work it around the perimeter. He puts up the three ball. He buries it. Let us show you the replay on that one. Pressure, great double team, really explosive. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? Gave it up. There's the screen up on top. Robs him of the ball. On the outside, got some room. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Buries it. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For two, he puts it in with contact and all. goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The skip pass is picked off. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Up and inside. Controlling the ball. Drops the bucket despite the harm. For the 
bucket. The Red Raiders have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. At the half, the Aggies are behind by 15. We've got a good battle so far, Dick. What do you have queued up for our highlight of the half? This trifecta was the key for me, Brad. It opened up the game in the first half. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep up the outside shooting in the second. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Texas Tech is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad, this kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the lock. Patience and poise usually equals points. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him. To There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. The ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Penetrates and kicks back. He launches the bomb. Sinks it. Job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? And the ball goes out of play. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He's got to get rid of it. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Lobs it. Picked off. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. post flasher and we've got a whistle and a foul this crowd is unbelievable tonight. oh they're emotional they're packed they're jammed you can't find an empty seat the post flashes up high if he wants it he unloads a three off the rim and no good Two in and out. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Texas AM have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Gave it up. He puts up the tray. He gets it to go. Here's the three ball. 
He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. The land. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Chapman is receiving a lot of support from the hometown crowd. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dump it inside. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They're working around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Number three is feeling it right now. Brad, he's on fire. Power forward takes the feed for the deuce. They still don't score. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's the trap. Almost lost the basketball. He shoots. Rims out. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The power forward takes the pass. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Working it around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dickey's simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. The center with the ball. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Gets the ball. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the fake. Tries to get the D to bite. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Picks off the lazy pass. Work it around the arc. Steals the pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Texas A&M is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Jumped 
in front to take it away. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Goes up for two. He cleans the glass. Gave it up. The shooting guard gets the pass. Take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Strips the ball. They get out on the break. Foul charge. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. High post flashes for the opportunity. They work the perimeter. He tries the three ball, way off target. The ball goes out of play. Dick, you got to love tournament games like this. Great first half, second half's been more of the same, and I don't know, what do you think? Uh, the favorite, can he pull it out or not? Well, I think it's a lot going to get down to coaching on both sides. I think the coach's strategic maneuvers here are going to be the difference, making sure that they make certain that their star player gets the ball in the right place of the court, because so many times guys are pushed away from their point of emphasis. And the ball goes out of play. High post flashes. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Pushes it up. He gets the shot to fall. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. When you're talking about the Big 12, people often mention Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma. Yeah, Brad, they do. But it'll be interesting to see how or if the recent coaching changes will affect the style of play that the Big 12 is known for. He intercepts it. They work it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. Great screen set up, but count it and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. to the line he can't buy one and the free throw woes continue this is embarrassing display of free throw shooting Brad. up and inside they've left him completely alone fakes a jumper they'd like to get it inside to the low block Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gave it up. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Oh, Mr. Nussler, that's a no-no. Shot rejected. Transition opportunity coming up. A 
unloads. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. And the ball goes out of bounds. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. He takes it away. Leans in. Texas A&M are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. They run it up into transition. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Up fake. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the elbow. The Aggies have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have great post play. you got a chance really to win. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. On the outside. He blocks the shot. Picks off the pass. He shows the sweet touch. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. At this point in the game, block management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win. I guarantee it. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with the shot. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They may have to pull him out and let somebody else out there and let him think about it for a while. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Great defense. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up for the deuce. Down the floor and strip up. And work it around the arc. He attempts the trifecta. Can't put it down. He looks for three. Got it.
Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Texas A&M have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. He shoots from the top of the circle, and he makes the three. This defense simply swarms the ball, and they cause a five-second violation. Trying to execute, but he inbounds. Picked off. For the bucket. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. He goes for the trifecta. That's good. Looking for a good shot. He puts up the tray. He nails the bucket. On the dribble, gives it up. Moving it around the perimeter. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Got a wide open look. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Well, it's time to start fouling. they got to stop the clock, Dick. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. And we'll go to the free throw line. He makes the front end of the one and one. Second one, no good. And they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. And the players got a much needed breather with that timeout. Working it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, welcoming shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. 
And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Sinks it. It's a 10-point spread, Dick. Yeah, but 10 points can't be spread too thin, Brad. Let's it fly. You need to create as many possessions as possible, so keep falling. And the clock stopped with a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. To the line. Makes the foul shot. He makes the second. Nine points is the difference now. A difference that can change in a heartbeat if you ain't careful, Brad. He tries the three. Goes in. Shot clock is dead. Foul, and that stops the clock again. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Sinks it. He goes for three, and he misses the shot. Intercepted. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He fires from long range. He buries the shot. Nick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, and you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Aggies emerges victorious in this one. I'll tell you, these kids are having a time of their lives as their childhood dreams come to reality. Hey, they're playing the next game in the magical Final Four. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.